and I'm making a video on what I recommend a dancer brings on vacation. I'm actually going on vacation this Friday, so that's what gave me the idea for this movie. Sorry, it's windy. Video. Windy out here, so I apologize for that. Okay, so, first of all, I would say keep an open mind, because like, when I, I'm going on vacation for like two and a half, three weeks, and at first I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to dance, oh no, like, how am I going to stay in shape and everything, and so I thought about it, and here's what I came up with. First of all, there's a lot of like, things you can do that aren't dance that would still help you with dancing, like biking, canoeing, kayaking, hiking, swimming, jogging, going for a walk, like just stay active basically. And of course, like keep on stretching. Like I stretch every morning and I try to stretch every night as well. And just like even like going to see a show or like a dance show or just any kind of performance would be fun. And I found this website that I'll put a link below. And it's called findthedancestudio.com. And you can actually research and see if there's um, any studios where you're going and maybe take a few classes just for fun, you know. Um, I actually found two studios that have classes, so I'm excited. Hopefully I'll be able to dance a little bit. Okay, and then I will get into what I suggest you guys bring, just in case. Or it kind of depends on if you have found a studio and you know you're dancing, or if you're still looking for a studio, but you know, this is just like the guidelines. Okay, so I'm going to start with apparel. First of all, I recommend... Here's just my bag of stuff. <laughs> You guys bring a leotard, of course. I would just go with like a simple black one, depending, because you never know what the um, dress code is going to be. I chose this simple black one, the one with the cool back, if you guys saw it in my leotards video. Um, and if you do find a place that you're going to take classes, I would bring like two leotards maybe. Um, but you can also check out their dress code if you know that um, you're going to be dancing there already. But definitely bring a black one if you don't know where you're going. And then also make sure you have tights. Um, I would just go with like your classic pink tights. Um, but I would bring convertible ones because I don't know, it's pretty hot in the summer. I like to roll mine up. Um, or you can bring cutoff tights. or But it's just safe to bring long ones for the dress code things, of course. And then next I would bring um, warm-ups. So, um, I'm bringing my ballet skirt, which always gets all tangled up. <laughs> Classic ballet skirt. Um, most places will let you wear those, I think. But some don't, so you never know. I'm also bringing um, some black shorts. <laughs> really windy. Um, just these basic black shorts. They're like spandex. Um, and then, you can also, like... Depending on what style of dance you're doing also, like if you're doing jazz classes or hip hop, like you could bring sweatpants for that, but you probably would already have sweatpants anyways. Um, I'm bringing these capris, that they're nice to dance in, um, they're stretchy. I got them at Forever 21 really cheap. Um, and then, um, I would also bring workout clothes because, like I said before, if you're not going to a studio, you can always like go for a bike ride, which I really love biking. <laughs> um, and, oh, swimsuit if you're gonna go swimming, of course. So. I am bringing these Nike shorts, they pink, nice and pretty. Um, they're running shorts, but you can use them for working out any type. <laughs> and then I'm bringing this, um, also Nike, just a nice workout top. Um, any t-shirt really works for working out. And then, of course, bring a sports bra because you gotta work out <laughs> and you don't want that happening. <laughs> okay, and then I'm also bringing, um, I like working out in spandex sometimes. These Nike Pro spandex. Um, I am absolutely in love with these. I have two pairs. Um, they're $25 to $28 for the longer ones. Um, and they're amazing. And then socks, of course, because I like to bring extra socks for when I work out because that can get kind of gross when your feet are all sweaty and then, you know. Okay. Gotta put all this stuff back in the bag. And then, next of all, um, shoes. First thing, I would recommend bringing just a pair of tennis shoes for exercising outside or, you know, walking around, hiking, biking, whatever. 
Um, and then as far as dance shoes go, definitely bring your ballet flats because that's just kind of you can use it for any class basically. And then I'm also going to bring jazz shoes just in case they're small. Um, and if you know you're going to a place with um, this like a ballet studio or something, you could bring your point shoes depending on what you feel like or like, I don't know, whatever you want. And that is it for shoes. Okay, and then extras. I would first of all recommend bringing a smaller dance bag. Um, <laughs> this is small for me, but I got this at Urban Outfitters. Um, I've had it for a while. It's really like sturdy. And you can also use this for other stuff on vacation. Just like not a huge like duffel bag or anything because you're not going to want to bring all that stuff for on vacation. And then I would also bring a TheraBand for just stretching. And I like to use this like during the night just to stretch out my ankles or do some resistance training or something. And then I would recommend you bring um, maybe a tennis ball to stretch out your muscles. I don't have one right now, but that is awesome. Um, and then I like to bring a yoga mat um, just to like stretching. Sometimes the floor is kind of gross and I don't know, it just makes me feel like more zen when I <laughs> stretch with a yoga mat. I don't know, sounds silly, but whatever. And then um, this is optional. I This came with my yoga mat. Um, it's just like a stretching block. I use I put it like this, like stretch my oversplits with it, which you can also use like chairs and stuff I know. But it's just I've gotten used to using it, so I like to bring it. And it's pretty small-ish, sort of. Um Okay, next I um recommend bringing music. I thought it's always more fun to work out to music. Or, you know, I like to have ballet music on here too. Cause you can always just like go through a by yourself in your hotel room or if you're camping outside just like go for a walk and find a place where nobody is and give yourself a ballet bar that would be fun and relaxing so i have actually the whole swan lake soundtrack on here and then um a few other ballet songs you can always ask your teachers if they'll like download or give you a cd of classical ballet songs or you can just go online i'm sure tons of stuff on youtube okay and then i also have this armband thing for my iPod. Um, I use it to go biking a lot because I love biking. You can, it also works for running or hiking or whatever and it's just easier than holding it in your hand because I know a lot of workout sh shorts don't have pockets in them. Okay, next um, make sure you bring stuff to put up your hair. <laughs> so this is just like my hair bag from um, my dance bag and it just has like headbands and bobby pins and hair bands and you probably already have a brush because you probably pack that in your normal stuff and then um either hairspray or hair gel these are both aussie um i know you can buy mini, mini ones of these but i just don't have them so um, i'll probably just bring this hairspray i don't use gel except for performances and then make sure you bring a water bottle too i don't have that but Hydration, woot, okay. <laughs> and then make sure you have healthy snacks. Um, I was thinking about making a video about like snacking for dancers, but I just thought of it was off the top of my head. Peanut butter it is amazing. This is actually like the kind, I don't know if you have, you can like, push it out of the thing right at the store. It like makes it in front of you, which is really cool. So organic, creamy peanut butter, my favorite. And then, um, Nuts. Nuts are awesome. These are almonds. Um, just in a mason jar. Uh, almonds are like super healthy. Uh, healthy fats. Protein. Good for dancers. And then, of course, like fruit, like apples or bananas, you know, whatever. And then other healthy snacks are like granola, um, granola bars, oatmeal, and tons of stuff like that. And then lastly, I recommend you guys bring like a camera to capture your memories. This actually doesn't have my camera in right now, but you get the idea. Um, just if you go to a new studio, like having memories or even just taking fun dance pictures like in nature or in the city, which sounds kind of weird, but <laughs> it was really fun. Um, last summer I went to New York actually and I got to take a few classes at Broadway Dance Center. So I definitely took some pictures of that and had memories. And then also for memories, um, I like to bring my dance journal everywhere. You can just like write down the studio or 
with the different teachers, I know you often get different corrections and different styles of dancing. So if there's like a really cool move you learn, you want to remember, just write it down or anything. And that's always fun. So I hope any of you going on vacation this summer continue to dance. Even if you're not at a studio, you can still improve your dancing. So don't freak out like I did and be like, oh, I'm going on vacation. I can't dance. But you can. And definitely check out this website below to find studios for wherever you're going. And have a great summer. Bye, guys.